Hi everyone! Uh, welcome to my lovely classroom, aka my apartment. Uh, I know this is a little weird for everybody. We're still trying to learn which way to go from here, uh, especially as we're, you know, getting deeper and deeper into uncharted territory. I do want to take a second and talk to you guys um, about what is happening and tell you what I know. Um, as far as I know, we will come back to school on March 30th that week. I don't exactly remember. I think it's March 30th. That is still the plan. Um, the superintendent of Charlotte Mecklenburg County, as well as the state superintendent, is actually advocating to moving to online learning permanently, if not dismissed for the rest of the school year. But we cannot dismiss for the rest of the school year until the federal government uh, and the state government agree to waive testing requirements and also waive what's called seat hours. So you all are required to have so many in-class seat hours that are face-to-face -face with you and their teacher. Uh, and online learning, we can't really keep track of that. So they're trying to still figure everything out. We don't exactly know what's happening. What we do know is that for the next week in front of us, we will be doing what's called supplemental learning. So I am going to give you materials throughout this week um, to complete at your own pace and own time. None of it is graded. I cannot require you to actually do it for a grade because we're not doing that currently. What we are doing is keeping you engaged with the content that we have been learning, uh, just in case next week when we come, next week if we come back to school face to face, which we don't know. And if we don't come back face to face, we might be uh, teaching or learning new content. So this is just to keep you engaged in the next steps of what's gonna happen in this crazy post-corona current virus, I don't know what to call it, world, okay? So, um, I because of that, I wanted to lay some ground rules and expectations that you guys already know. Uh, first and foremost, you know that if I give you any web quests or anything to do online, that I want your words, not somebody else's. So you are not to copy and paste somebody else's work and put it as your own. That is a huge no-no, that is cheating, that is plagiarism, and I will straight up give you a zero for it. Second, um, we are going to do daily CNN 10 discussions. So on Canvas, you will notice a discussion tab um, on the left-hand side of your screen when you're in the Canvas course. So you're going to click on that and you'll be able to watch the daily CNN 10 um, news so that you can, you know, do your typical thing, which is, you know, at least three things, choose a topic, give me a summary of it, um, your thoughts and opinions, and then your prediction. You know, what's going to happen if things stay the same or, you know, if things change, you know the deal. Same from class, except this time you're going to be able to respond to what other people, uh, and I will be able to go in and respond to, to what you guys are saying and to ask questions and, and continue to prod. Now throughout this whole time, you'll be able to ask me questions uh, directly either through Canvas, through email, through a mind, what have you, so that we can stay engaged. Now my office hours Monday through Friday is 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. And during that time, uh, late morning, early afternoon, I will actually be calling and checking in on you guys. So if you don't communicate with me already, then expect, um, expect a phone call from me or your parents can expect a phone call from me. Uh, so please, 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 if you haven't already, see the announcement about... Um, the Google form that I provided you guys because that will make it so that we can connect a little bit easier instead of me hunting you down, okay? So if there are any questions moving forward, please, please, please let me know. Um, communication during this whole online thing is very, very key, um, especially as we're moving to the end of the quarter. So this brings me to my final piece. As far as we have been told, 
the end of the quarter is still March 26th and that our grades are not due until that Friday or that Saturday, something like that. I'll double check on that for you. So that means that if you have any missing assignments, any missing formal grades, um, tests, what have you, we need to find a way for you to get them in before Thursday because that'll give me time on Friday to grade everything and put it in the grade book. I've also had some issues with power school, uh, so I'm having to go back student by student uh, and make sure what's in my paper grade book, my handy dandy one that you might have seen me with, matches what is on power school. And if for some reason I take out a grade or overwrite a grade that you know you've completed and you have proof that you have completed, then please, please, please let me know. All right. Um, and we can talk more about that as well. So for all of you who are panic ridden, that your grades are going to be awful. Um, just know that we still have a few more days to work on this. So if you do have any questions about that in particular, please, 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 please email me, send me a remind, a message on Canvas, something. Because if you're not telling me that there's an issue, then I have no way of knowing that there is an issue. So please. Uh, I am here for you guys. Um, so yeah, even though this is a weird not face-to-face -face thing. Um, so I will see you guys, see you guys, um, a couple of times this week. Um, be safe, be smart, uh, and stay out of trouble. Bye, guys.